Alright guys, this is CPU Kid, and I've gotten some messages to, from people seeing if they can set up a Hotmail account with the iPhone app, the Mail app, and my answer is yes you can, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright, so obviously you're going to need to have the Mail app installed, as you can see I do, right, right there, upper left. So, first thing you have to do to set up a Hotmail is on your computer, go to a website that I'm going to give you. Alright, you'll see it here, so go ahead and type in your email. Alright, now once you do that, you get to enter this validation code, mine's 7122, yours will probably be different. So then after you do that, go ahead and click free registration. Alright, so now it sent you sent it will send you an email. So I'm gonna open up my hotmail. And you probably won't get it right away, you might you might not, as you can see I did. Yours might take a little bit depending on how busy they are. Alright, so nothing really major. But so now on your iPod, after you've done that, go to your iPod and go to settings then go down and then tap mail then add account other alright here's where you have to enter some stuff alright I'm done entering my settings I mostly did that so you wouldn't see my password because it's really easy to be seen on the keyboard so just go ahead so here's what you enter so name, just whatever you want. The address is your email account. On Hotmail, so be whatever you have at Hotmail.com. Now, here's where it gets kind of tricky. Where it says incoming mail server next to host name. Put in, I-N, dot I-Z-Y-M-A-I-L, I -Z -Y -M -A -I -L, dot com. Again, that's I-N, dot I-Z-Y-M-A-I-L, dot com. And then your username is your email address at whatever at hotmail.com and your password is whatever password you used at his email. It's probably the same one. I would, I would just use the same one as you did for your hotmail account. It's easier. Alright, now next where it says outgoing mail server, hostname is out.izymail.com, O U T dot I Z Y M A M A I L dot com. And again, your username is your email address whatever at hotmail.com and your password so now after you do that tap save now this might take a while this might take anywhere from five to ten minutes so when something happens I'll turn the camera back on alright here we go you'll get something that looks like this cannot connect using SSL do you want to try setting up the account without SSL this will come up like twice, maybe three times. Every single time it does, just hit yes. And this is the part that usually takes the longest. That one came up pretty quick, probably within like 30 seconds. This one's going to take a few minutes. So at the top, it says verifying IMAP account information. That um, Just know it doesn't, it won't freeze. Like if you, if you do this, it doesn't move. But it didn't freeze, so just give it, this takes time. So um, when it's done, I'll be back. Alright, I got the same thing again. Again, just hit yes. Alright, so you'll see the screen will light up and you'll be able to move it again. That means it's done. So you can see you have an account. So you can go back to settings, hit the home button, and go ahead and go into the mail. And down here it'll say checking for mail. down the middle message one of one here's my support message so go ahead and just tap it and there you go you're checking your email on your hotmail account on your ipod touch simple as that all you have to do is go to a website enter a few things and uh, options and you're good to go oh and also you have if you tap mailboxes up here 
you have your inbox drop junk sent and trash so if you have some trash messages then you can go in there it just says checking for mail alright so that's about it and you can delete messages from here I'll show you just hit the recycle bin thing pretty cool so that's how you get Hotmail working on an iPod Touch. You can check it from anywhere, obviously as long as you have an access point. And that's about it. Stay tuned for episode 10, CPU kit out.